I know what you mean. I mean, he's a, he's a focal point, and everybody's always hanging bigger around. Bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger and bigger. Is he going to get bigger still? Oh, I think he has to, yes. I mean, we're limited at the moment by the size of the buildings that we're in, that we can't make him any bigger. Because if we made him any bigger, then we'd have to demolish the building. Has the band changed very radically since the early days? Um, it's changed quite a bit, yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, we've had quite a lot of different members and in and out and what have you, and I think the music's changed a fair bit. Do you think the intentions have changed? Not really, no. We're still, you know, playing on stage, doing lots of gigs, and that's what we started out to do, and you know, still enjoying it. How would you describe Iron Maiden? Hard working, determined. Uh, we enjoy it, you know. Monstrous. Monstrous Maiden are topping the bill at Donington this year on the 20th of August, and their spectacular international success has brought millions of dollars from the United States back into Britain. What's the secret of David Lee Roth's solo success? Well, a lot of it, first off, when you're trying to do something out of line, is to not be an elitist about it. You know, a lot of, uh, you can think of the musicians, and, and a lot of them are outside of rock and roll music who are very elitist about, I'm doing something different, or I'm having fun with this. First thing you have to dispose of is your ego. And then you can have a little bit of fun with what it is you're doing. And instead of trying to bury it and propose a specific image, there are times to smile and there's times not to smile. There's a lot of great ways to have fun without smiling at all. I see all of this as part of the performance. Right now I'm inside your house and I'm performing. And what goes into that video, we do all behind the scenes. We produce and direct all of our videos. The stage show, what goes on on that stage, what the stage show looks like, what the album cover looks like. All of this is part of a performance. It's entertainment, it's show business, it's rock and roll, whatever you want to call it. And how many musicians do you know, Johnny, who have showed up at the end of five, 10, 15 years and go, oh, I don't understand, it's not like I thought. <laughs> David Lee Roth, very influenced by Mexico. elected some great classics of the 70s but whatever's happened to Alice since then oh we did the honorable thing during the dark disco ages you know we more or less dropped out at that point and uh, there was no rock and roll on the radio there was just literally no guitar rock and roll on the radio uh, and the radio at that point changed its whole complexion to uh, to what the yuppies kind of thing has happened you know in the States it's, it's suddenly become a very um, 25 to 40 audience and they took the radio away from the kids and by doing that they more or less slit Alice's throat you know because I was directly you know playing for the kids now or are you finding it very different it's exactly the same the road never changes you know the uh, cable TV makes the road a lot more tolerable um, holiday inns have put two new things on their menu in the last 12 years which is great uh, but generally the, the the road is always the same it's it's a it's an anxiety situation up until you get to the show and then you have your orgasm your stage show is your orgasm, and then you go home and have a cigarette. I'm booked for about 
about two years on this tour. And after that, I think I would like to do some pretty sleazy horror movies. Nothing in the least bit respectable at all. Because I was thinking of Romeo and Juliet. Well, that, could, that would be great. You know, I could play both parts. <laughs> no more, Mr. Nice Get ahead of him, so.